All right, guys, we've finished with this part of the project now. You can go back and watch the first video we put out on the greenhouse where we talk about the greenhouse foundation. We put in the good clay gravel with rock all in it. We let it rain on it. We drove over the tractor. We packed it in real good. Then we came back and we put sand on top of it. So we didn't want, when the water gets in here, we didn't want red mud oozing up through this here. So we put sand on it. And after we put the sand, we kind of raked it all down level. We went back with this row cover from Grower Solutions, and we put it down now, and we have it stapled. The next thing in line will be to put in our blocks and our pots and stuff like that, like we want to go down through the center of it. Right here this morning working on our greenhouse again we're trying to get our wiggle wire track in we've got some fairly decent weather it's not flooding down raining it's not extremely hot it's just good and foggy this morning so we're going to try to get some work done on the greenhouse now we have what is called a seven and a half foot high sidewall greenhouse slash high tunnel you know slash whatever i mean it's just it is what you want to make it we're making ours into a greenhouse so that we can use it for multiple things. Now, in installing the wiggle wire track on a seven and a half foot high sidewall greenhouse, you have the option of how high you want your sidewalls to be as far as your roll ups. Some people may decide not to put a roll up. If you decide that, then your wiggle wire track will install completely different than what I'm doing. But we have decided to go with the three foot high sidewall roll-ups to let the air go into our greenhouse from below and when you do that you have to install your wiggle wire track in a specific manner now i want to take and show you right off the bat the bottom part and how we're installing our wiggle wire track at the bottom part where we're going to be rolling up our sides okay now when you install the roll-up sides on the greenhouse your hip board can be whatever height you want it to be. We just decided to go with three foot, one and a half inch on ours. Now, when you do that, your uh, roll up side is gonna have a pipe down here at the bottom that's going to actually stick out like this. And this will be what you'll be rolling your sides up with when you roll it up. So what we've done is we've laid the pipe on top of our baseboard and we've put our wiggle wire track about a three eighths of an inch above that so that we have room for the pipe to sit on the board. If we did not do that and we ran the wiggle wire track all the way to the board, our pipe would be out here on the edge of the board and it'd be wanting to fall off all the time. Plus, when we come back and put our strapping on this right here where it's gonna go at, it would be bulged out like this, which is not good. So we decided to leave it in, start our wiggle wire track 3 8 to a half an inch above the pipe, and it screws to the metal pipe frame of the greenhouse with the tech screws. Now when you get to screwing the track to wood, we're going to use a different screw and a different technique. But this, remember, you're screwing the steel pipe so you need the tech screws inside the wiggle wire track. As we come up this uh, wiggle wire track, you get right here, you see you run into your hip board. You run into your hip board here. We didn't bring our wiggle wire track all the way to the bottom because remember I routed the edge of this board here. 
I've done that so that the plastic wouldn't be on a sharp edge on the wood here. So this particular wiggle wire track now is screwed to wood. It's not screwed to the metal. So what we've done is we pre-drilled this with 11 64th bit and we put what's called Torx head screws in here. They're an inch and five eighths long. We screwed them in to here every foot on the wiggle wire track going up. Now we installed a board right here, a treated board, and fastened it to the steel pipe in here so that our wiggle wire track would run smooth here. It would come off of this hip board and continue to run smooth all the way to the hip board up at the top. Now when you get to the hip board at top, we make a completely different transition. Okay, when you come to this transition, you don't cut your wiggle wire track. You simply bend it over the edge and run it up and go back to your tack screws again because you're screwing to the steel. You put your screws in it. Now we put two of them a little closer together than 12 inches there because we're right at the end of a piece of uh, wiggle wire track. From this point on, we're going to be just running our wiggle wire track over the arch all the way to the other side. And when we get to the other side, the hip board over there, we will continue to do the exact same thing on the other side as we've done to this one here. We'll just simply bend the wiggle wire track around the hip board like we've done here. Now we're installing our wiggle wire track down our hip board on the side of the greenhouse here where our roll up is going to come to. And we mounted it at the top edge of our hip board here. This will allow our plastic time to come out of this and actually have room to turn here to go into this wiggle wire track right here. Now it's not going to be a, a perfectly seamless situation here, but it will work uh, fairly decent. And you know, since we've installed the screen, we're not really worried about insects. Right now we're just mainly trying to control temperature in the winter months. Probably in the summer, this will stay rolled up 99 or 100 percent of the time. Now we're going to be running the wiggle wire track down the full length of the hip board on the side of the greenhouse. Might I add that you can move this hip board wherever you want. Some people choose to put it at the top. Some people choose to put it down at five foot, four foot. We just chose three foot, one and a half inch for a specific, specific reason for that. The reason being the wire that we installed on here, the hardware cloth, was three foot tall and we wanted a quarter of it. We wanted a little bit of play. Let me put it this way. We wanted a little play on the top and the bottom of it to be able to make sure in case there was any irregularities in the wire, we would have room to compensate for that as we installed it down beside the greenhouse. So guys, we're going to continue putting the wiggle wire track on and we're going to try to get this baby ready for plastic.
the reason we didn't finish coming from that point on down is that our track was going to end like right here and it would be very difficult to just bend that one little end piece down right there and make it work so we came back and started from the bottom and come up where we have a longer ability to arch here now what we'll do is measure the distance between here and the one at the top and we'll go ahead and cut that piece and get it installed <laughs> 